What's up everybody, this is Ingram, I'm one of the Minecrafters, and today we're going to talk about the Hopper Ducks. It's a mod by Fiber Optic, and it's actually a part of our Icehenge, official Icehenge public mod pack, so we're going to check it out. Now this mod is actually very small, it only adds two items. You can see both of those in yellow right here. The grated hopper, which is just a regular vanilla hopper and some iron bars, and the hopper duct, which is a piece of wood, three iron, and you actually get four of these hopper ducts. Both of what they do is extend this thing in the blue here, the vanilla hopper. So we're going to take a look at what they do because they overcome some of the limitations. If you already know what a vanilla hopper is, use the link below to skip to the next part of the video. Now, a vanilla hopper is a block that's added just as part of regular Minecraft that does some pretty cool stuff. Basically, what it'll do is it acts as a funnel, and anything you put inside the funnel will get funneled through the hopper itself and out this little small end here, which is the exit. Right. So if you put anything in, it'll come out the other end. Pretty cool. Now, one of the coolest parts about them is they'll actually pull things out of inventories that are above them. So if you look at this hopper right here in front of me, it's going to pull anything inside this chest. It'll pull it right out of the chest and stick it into the side of this furnace. So if, for example, we had um, some charcoal up here, we're going to have the hopper below is going to pull the charcoal out, stick it into the side of the furnace, boom, automatically keeps this furnace stocked full of charcoal. Important to note, it'll put it in the side of the block that you specify. So the way that furnaces are set up, that's how you get charcoal in there. So if we want things to be smelted, we need to put them on top. If we put raw beef directly into the item hopper, it'll automatically, one at a time, load the furnace full of raw beef. We're going to keep it stocked with charcoal at the same time. So in this chest right here, boom, there comes a steak because the furnace itself is actually an inventory. So as soon as that steak is cooked, it gets put into the inventory on the side. The hopper below picks it up, sticks it into the chest. Awesome. Hoppers will also actually accept anything dropped directly into them. So if I throw this piece of beef, it'll automatically appear in the chest next to it. Now there's a bunch of different possible orientations. You can have it on the top, on any of these sides aimed into this chest, and of course underneath to pull things out of the chest. One of the limitations, however, is that there's no way to go back up. There's no amount of these things that you can add that will ever route items back up. That's where hopper ducks come in. What they allow you to do is they're like tiny little single inventory hoppers. They don't pull anything out, but what they do is they route things. So if I put something into this inventory chest, put my piece of steak in there, it goes zoop up into this output. Awesome. You can also do some crazy stuff with them because, again, all they're going to do, the gray side is the target. So it'll come into this end and go straight through. And you can route them in any crazy way that you can even imagine. So if I stick a piece of steak in here, it's going to come you imagine like clunking through pipes in the sewer there it is okay so let's talk about placement these things are very easy to rotate you only need a wooden stick if you shift left click it rotates 180 degrees let me just and if I use right click it rotates around the next facing in the line so if I go uh, shift left click that'll flip to the other side and then I can just use this like that very cool these things orient themselves uh, to whatever they're attached to. So if I shift and click against this chest, it'll orient itself to aim into the chest. Then the awesome part is they'll also orient to each other. So instead of having to, to break apart the floor and try and aim upwards into this hopper duct, if I just slap it right there, it says, hey, the wall's not valid, but this hopper duct above me is. Same thing here. Hey, the wall's not valid, but the hopper duct next to me is. It'll automatically try and attach to a valid inventory. Now, when you're trying to break them, you can't use your hand. If you try and use your hand, you'll lose it for whatever reason. So you have to at least use a wooden pickaxe, and that lets you get the hopper duck back. Up next, let's take a look at graded hoppers. Now, graded hoppers are exactly like their regular counterpart, except they have this filter bar in here. And what they will do is ignore everything that is not in their filter. So if I put anything in a chest, for example, I have two limestone with panel chunks in there, it's going to ignore it because that's not in its, its, its filter there. If I put them in the chest now, however, or gold ore is in its filter, so it's going to pull them right into that chest. Very cool. Now, you can also put things into the side or directly into a graded hopper. And again, watch this. It's going to ignore it because it's not in its filter. And what this will do, this is important, this will act now as an inventory. And that's going to be important because over here, we're going to use that to, to start doing some crazier things. What crazy things, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. So if we have a chest up here and we put sandstone in it, 
And this one below only accepts gold ore, right? That's what we're going to have it pull out. So that sandstone's never going to get out of there. It's very sad. It's very lonely, but it'll never get pulled out. But as soon as I put gold ore, that's what we want. Boom. Awesome. So now what if um, I were to route into the side like we'll do in a second? Well, if you put anything in the side, remember, this is going to act as a regular inventory. So as soon as I put these in there, hey, they're getting out of there, but they're not in the filter. Why is that? Well, that's because of the regular vanilla hopper underneath. Because remember, vanilla hoppers pull out of an inventory above them. This graded hopper actually counts as an inventory. So our sandstone actually gets pulled out by the vanilla hopper underneath, and then everything happens normally. This is going to be useful when we try and do things like sorting. What I have here is a graded hopper that has a bunch of ingots in the filter and a vanilla hopper underneath, which obviously has nothing in the filter. So if I put everything into this chest... What it's going to do, the vanilla hopper underneath is going to pull everything out. It's going to stuff everything into this graded hopper at first. The graded hopper is going to ignore everything that's not an ingot. And everything that's not an ingot is actually going to get sucked out of the graded hopper by this regular vanilla hopper. So at the end of the day, all of our ingots are in this chest. And our meat chunks are safely in this chest. So the particularly savvy amongst you are immediately thinking, hey, I can use this to do some more processing. And so that's pretty awesome. Here's the poor oafs ore processing or poop processing facility for short. What we have here is an input chest. And actually this regular, if you're lazy, you can just chuck stuff into this one. Um, this is going to be your input. These are just regular vanilla hoppers. They'll suck anything in these two inputs. Stick them into this hopper duct network. Those get stuffed right into the side of a series of graded hoppers with a vanilla hopper underneath and remember back to what we just did the graded hopper is going to fil filter things out so it's going to look and if it sees any gold or silver ore it's going to stuff them this way if it doesn't if they're not gold or silver ore it'll ignore them and they'll technically stay in its inventory which we don't want so what we do is we put a regular vanilla hopper underneath and it will suck anything that's not gold and silver will get stuck up in the inventory this vanilla hopper underneath will say, hey, there's stuff up there. It'll grab them out and stuff them into the next thing, which is, just happens to be another graded hopper that's going to pull out iron. Same process again. We're going to use the vanilla hopper underneath it, stuff it into this one. It's going to pull out all the different types of tin ore. Then anything that's, that's not iron, tin, gold, or silver is going to get down to this point. Anything that's copper, we're going to take and stuff into this item queue over here. And everything else will get pulled out skip the whole processing facility, skip this whole furnace entirely, and just get routed right back into our processed output chest. Now, if we want to watch this, let's throw some gold, let's throw some of these in there, let's throw our silver into this, and let's throw our raw meat blocks. We don't want our meat to get cooked. We don't, we're not all about that. So here we have, look at already, there's our iron, boom, here comes our tin, awesome. It was filtered out through this stage here. Um, here's our silver. Our raw meat's probably actually already in there. There it is, because it skipped. It didn't need to go through the furnace, so it didn't get held up in any of these queues. Remember, these are all individual little inventories. So if you have stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff coming through here, they'll just wait. They'll just wait their turn until, until there's a, a spot in the next inventory in front of them that's available, and then they'll move into that. So here we go. We got our raw meat blocks. We got all our ingots. Boom. And there you go. That's an easy, very low-budget way to make some sort of ore processing. You imagine that this chest, input chest, is either getting stuff from your strip mining adventure. You just came back, and your bags are loaded. Boom, throw it all in there. Or maybe if you're more advanced, you already got like a little bit of a quarry kind of thing going. All your inputs come in here, and it'll automatically get sorted out. You can have a humongous wall of these. Guys, send us pictures. If you have some ridiculous setup using these hopper ducts, we would love to see it. All right? That has been the hopper duct mod. It is in our public, the Minecrafters Ice Henge public mod pack, which is available for free. You can go to our website and get downloads for the server, for the client, invite all your friends, build your own server, record your own videos, and do whatever you want with it, except package it and sell it as your own. Our licensing does not allow that. Make sure to check us out on TheMinecrafters.com, Facebook at TheMinecrafters.com. We are on Twitter at Ingram and pretty much everywhere else. Guys, thanks for watching and stay boy.